when building apps with Nuxt.js or any other framework or library, we often have the need to manage our application state. Our application state is our data which we have available and in view on Nuxt. It's commonly passed down to a child component with props, or we can pass it back up the chain by firing custom events. This works perfectly fine until we have components which are deeply nested, or we need to share our state throughout our app. Nuxt version 3 provides an easy to use state management composable to share state or our data throughout our app. This composable is called use state and it has the benefit of being reactive, meaning any components which use this state will be updated when any change occurs. And it's also SSR friendly, meaning it's also available to use when making use of server side rendering. So let's take a look at how we can do this. And this video is also going to concentrate on the newer view syntax using script setup. So taking a step back, if we are going to be looking at sharing state across multiple components, it would make sense to create one central file to contain all of our data. The location of this file is up to you, but I'm going to create a new composables folder, which will store our file. So this is a bare bones Nux starter. We have the Nuxt welcome. Jump into the main sidebar for our project and we'll create a new folder called composables. And then inside create a new file called usestate.js where we can place in our shared data. So inside of here, what we'll do is we'll create various constants which we're going to export. So let's start with our first one, export const, a function name called use selected color. And this can be any kind of data which you want to. But for this example, I'm just going to simulate a color picker. So the function called use selected color, set up our function. And this function, which we're now going to create, will automatically be imported by Nuxt into any other page or component. Inside, we'll set this equal to our use state composable. And use state is going to take in two things. First of all, is a string value, which is going to be a unique key. So the name inside needs to be different for each one of these that we create. So for this one, we'll call this selected color. And then separated by a comma, we'll pass in a function which is equal to an empty string. So this function will be responsible for updating this value inside of our components. And it's also going to set the initial value, which is an empty string, because we currently have not selected any color. And then if we duplicate this, copy and paste, we'll create a new function, which is going to be called use available colors. And this use prefix is not mandatory for our function names. It's just a name and convention which seems to be popular when creating composables. So for this one, we'll change the key, the unique key to be available colors. And then inside of our function, instead of the default value being an empty string, we'll set this up to be an array, which will take in our color values. So pass in any colors we want to inside of here. The values don't matter for now. So now, as mentioned before, using any one of our components or pages, these values will be automatically imported. So they're available for us to use. So to access these, let's jump back into our sidebar. And as an example, we'll create a new page. So for this, we need a new pages directory. The home page, which will be index.view. Passing our script. We can clear out the contents and make use of script setup. This also needs a template. And then the job inside of this template is to create a list displaying all of our available colors from our state. So an unordered list, a list item which will repeat with the v4 loop where we can access our individual color inside of our colors. So how do we go about accessing our available colors inside of here? Well, since these are automatically imported by Nuxt, all we need to do is to call our function names such as use available colors. Call this with the brackets and then store the returned value inside of a constant. So available colors is equal to our return value. And then we can loop over our available colors inside of our list. We also need to pass in a unique key. 
but now we'll just place in a color since we don't have any better value inside. Using the double curly braces, we'll output the color. Over to the browser, we don't currently see any updates because when using the pages directory for the index page to take effect, we also need to remove the app.view. So right click, delete. And now our index page inside of the pages directory is the default entry point and the code is now displayed in the browser. So all of this information from state is now available to use anywhere inside of our application and we can duplicate this and also access our selected color. So we use selected color. We can also output this. Currently this is a empty string. I'll just move this inside of our list to avoid any errors. Over to the browser and we don't see any value since this is a empty string. However though, we can access our selected color. And then we use dot value just as it would do with any regular Vue.js ref. And then we can set this equal to a different value. There's our new value up at the top. We can also say available colors dot value push which is a javascript array method which will push a new value to the end of our array add any new value inside of here such as pink i'll just remove the selected color save so this and our state has now been updated so this is a really simple example of how we can use the use state composable in nux3 to pass in at default values such as our array or our empty string and how we can access them inside of our pages or components and also how we can update or add new values.